Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have approached to the end of this project. Now it's time for us. So we have completed all the project and all the notes list app and everything we have developed it. So we are able to log in, log in. So I am able to log in with the username and password. So here I am able to see the data and everything. I can able to add it. I can able to edit it without any problem and I can able to delete it. Everything is working fine. Now it's time for us to push the data now push the data means so to deploy the data to reply the project in our firebase so if you try to see here this is our firebase and here if you go to here and you'll be able to see the all products and in this all products here you'll be able to see the hosting so this is free if you want to add a custom domain then it will have some charge so this is free completely free and uh, if you want to deploy this one so you can have get started so let's go on to get started. It will be asking you to install this Firebase tools. Let's install this one. And here I'm stopping this one. Okay. So before starting, before st before uh, hosting these all the things, I forgot to tell you. Now, if you go to our package.json, okay. And here we are using this dev. So this is our dev uh, temporary server. It will be running you the server. And here you'll be having a build which will develop, uh, which will uh, compile the project. So let's run this one and it will create the dist files okay so uh, i am building this all the file so if you have any problems and all those things it will, it will show you any errors so here it will build all the files and it will generate all the js files and everything including the html file and everything it will generate it and let it generate so it is generating yeah it has been generated now you'll be able to see here a dist folder has been created in this dist folder you'll be able to have an index.html and for this one, you will be having one as in the assets, you'll be having one JS file. This is the complete JS file and also you'll be having one CSS file. So this is our code. Now we need to deploy this dist folder into our Firebase. For this one, what we need to do? So we have already copied, right? So that one we need to install it. So I am installing this Firebase hyphen tools. So let's install this one. It will take some time to install, let it install. Now here the npm install firebase tools has been successfully installed. Now let's go here and let's click on the next. So after clicking on the next, it will be asking you for the firebase login. So let's copy this one and here let's paste it here. It will ask you some uh, login. So fine, I am pasting here. Yeah. So firebase login. So it will take some time. It will ask you for the login on the firebase. So let's do it. So it has been logged in. So normally it will ask you for the username and password. You can give the username and password or otherwise if you are already logged in, it will be giving like this. So fine. So we have completed the login. Then it will ask you to initialize the project. Okay. Let's initialize it. So Firebase init. I am typing the command. So let's clear it out so that we can, uh, yeah, Firebase init. So uh, it will ask you some series of questions. Okay. Let it ask. Yeah. Here it is asking, are you sure you want to ready to proceed? Yeah. Now after completion of this one, so we need to use firebase hyphen init. So let's use this firebase init and it will ask you some series of questions. Okay. Let it ask. So here it will ask you some series of questions. Yeah. Are you sure you want to ready to proceed? Yes. I want to proceed it. And here it will ask you what is the feature you want to use? I want to use the feature of hosting. Okay. And here you want to use the pro. So it is using the note notes list hyphen view project. Okay. And you want, do you want to use the public directory? What is the public directory you want to use it? So here our public directory is the dist. And do you want to configure a single page app and all those things? No, I don't want anything. So why? Because the routing and everything is taken care by the our Vue.js only. So I don't want this automatic deployment also. I don't want to override the index.html. I don't want to override these all things. So that's it. So now here Firebase initialization is completed. After completion of this one, so we need to type the command Firebase hyphen dip space deploy. So when you use this command, so this one is available here only next, next steps. So Firebase deploy. So when you type this command Firebase deploy, so it will take some time to deploy. So yeah, now here it is deploying hosting and everything it is deploying, everything deploy completed. And this is the URL which is available. And here if I try to go to this URL and let's open this URL at the side here. So now this project is hosted. So here you'll be able to see the project is completely hosted. 
now this project is hosted so everybody who are who are able to have this one so they can able to access this code and i am trying to log in so i will be able to log in why because the same thing we are trying to use it right so here i am able to log in and here i am able to add a note edit it i am able to edit it so everything i can i can able to do it so this one is hosted in our firebase so here it will be hosted so this is how we will be hosting our firebase so you can log in and you can do whatever the thing you want it so this is how we will be hosting the firebase thing so hope you understood about this hosting of this firebase also it's very simple so by this we have completed all our vue.js uh, vue.js composition api hope you understood about this deployment in the firebase so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you